and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is the first episode of Restyle Rescue. Now, Restyle Rescue is a series I want to start, which is basically there to inspire people on how to like restyle and reuse the clothes they just don't wear anymore. Or maybe you pick something up from a charity shop and you want to vamp it up a bit, make it more your style. I want to give you guys a way to do that and inspire little things you can do to change the look of something. So today's video is going to be how to cut an ammonite into a t-shirt. So all you need is a basic t-shirt like the one I'm wearing and a pair of scissors and the rest is just how you use what you've cut. So it might sound difficult, it might look difficult, but there's no sewing involved, just scissors in your hand. So you can do this. And I base this design off, there's a lot of like t-shirt ideas out there on um, how you can weave stuff, sew stuff, tie stuff. And I just want to like design my own sort of things from those on how you can, you know, turn a basic t-shirt into something a bit more snazzy. So this is literally just a plain grey t-shirt. There's nothing special about it. You can use print ones or whatever you want to use. You, it probably will even work on a jumper as well. I'll have to try that. But um, yeah, I really do hope you guys enjoy and let's get to it. you want to do is you want to lay your t-shirt with the side you want the design facing you. So I've chosen to do the ammonite design on the back of this t-shirt. You can do it on the front, you can do multiple little ones, you can really change it up however you want to but I'm going to do one big one on the back I think for mine and I do recommend getting a pen just to help dot where you're going to do all the slicing. Um, I'll go through it with you in a minute how to use that. You can freehand it if you feel confident to do so. Um, and then I've got two pairs of scissors just because I don't know which one's the sharpest pair and you want a sharp pair of scissors for this. So if you don't know which ones are sharp, I reckon get all of them and we'll trial them out. Um, before you start cutting, you don't want to cut through to the other side of the t-shirt. Some people might feel confident that they won't. I'm going to put a chopping board underneath the layer of material that I'm cutting just to ensure I do not slice all the way through it. just like that and then just make sure it's equally placed depending where you want your design. So I'm going to do my design here in the middle of the back. So now you're ready to start cutting. I'm going to start with the biggest slits and then they do get quite small towards the middle um, but just follow my lead and we'll get this ammonite done. So I find pinching the material where you want the slit can be a good way to make the first initial hole and then all you need to do is slice along it either side to get your desired slit like that and we're just gonna keep doing that all the way around until we have a slitted spiral So as you start to go round the world, you want to make the slit slightly smaller just to get ready to co like coil it in sort of thing. Um, if you're unsure, watch me do it first before you attempt to cut yours, if that didn't make sense. So you just want to make, you just want to start snipping slightly smaller slits just to make this curve round as well. And you want the end of your slits to all finish in the same line. So this will make the curve of the inner world, if that makes sense. I'll zoom in once I'm done with all the slits before we start doing the weave. So you can start to see the shape taking place there if I pull it. It's going in a curved sort of shape. I will zoom in when I finish doing all of it. And about at the base here, you want to start making the snips a bit more frequent, um, just so they start to condense in. Or you can keep it all the same thickness, um, and that will give another effect in itself. So you can play around with that. Now 
Now, when you start doing the inner whirl, you want to make sure you don't uh, accidentally cut into an already cut cut. Um, so just be very careful when cutting these that you stop in time, because if you cut into those, it might ruin the effect of the ammonite. are all done and you've done this tiny little slit just about two cent centimeters in length just in the middle of your first slit you cut um, we can start the weaving process now when we do the weaving it might look like your t-shirt's gonna bunch all the way up but once you're done you sort of like pull it and it tightens the weave um, so it looks like a plaited ammonite basically or you can just keep it cut like this and put a color behind it um, I want to tr attempt this weaving because I've never done it before. Um, but I believe what you do, you put, you put the first one through this loop, and you're going to have to pull it, so it's going to like bunch everything up. But as I said, we can unbunch it later. Um, so you pull it, you twist it round your finger either way, and then you take the next one and you put it through the loop. Then you do the same. You twist it, get the next one, put it through the loop, twist it. Pick up the next one, put it through the loop, twist through the loop, twist through the loop. And you do this all the way round until you get to the middle um, and then you've got to finish it off which I'll show you in a second. So you just keep going round, just doing the twist and pick it up. It might get more fiddly as they get smaller but again you just twist and pull it through and then we'll unbunch it last. Just make sure you don't miss one. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut this final loop very carefully in half. Like so. And then taking your final slit, you're going to cut that in half. And you're going to tie them together. You want to do a double knot if you can. Once you've done a knot in the middle, you're ready to pull it out a little bit. So to do this, you want to just take each one and pull it to tighten the design that it has created. And then to give the ammonite some more effect, you can elongate your slits a little bit. So I'm just going to make these a little bit longer just so when it's on, you can see more that it's been cut. And there you have how to cut and weave an ammonite into the back of your t-shirt. So I'll show you what it looks like on. This was my first attempt at doing this as well, but I think it's turned out all right. Um, we'll see what effect it has on the t-shirt um, and whether it like pulls whilst it's on, that sort of thing. Um, but I feel like you can be really creative with this and put different colors underneath it and uh, play around. So. I really hope you guys enjoyed. This is what the finished top looks like and as you can see the front of it looks pretty much identical. It hasn't caused any horrible pulls anywhere or anything like that. It just 
feels the same, fits the same, but the back of it looks a lot different. So it's got the huge ammonite weaved in, um, and if you want, you can weave like double weaves in, so you can do two lots of it around the edges. So I might do some more ammonites in the future, but uh, I kind of love it, and I like how my, I'm wearing a blue bra underneath, and it looks really bright through it, and I really like it. Let me know what you think. But I kind of think, I know it pulls in places going around it, but it kind of makes like an effect going around. Like you are, you know, cutting and weaving. So this was a quite a well-fitting t-shirt. So I was expecting a bit of pulls, but if I did it on like a really oversized t-shirt, it might not have any of that. So now I'm really chuffed. Let me know what you think, but I love it. And if you want, you can put like a color behind it, that sort of thing. So you can actually sew it in um, and then you can wear anything underneath it but I kind of like the idea of just wearing bits and bobs. And the front here, you can just stitch this down if you don't like that, uh, but I don't think it bothers me too much. But no, I'm really chuffed with how that turned out. Let me know what you guys think, and let me know if you try and do it, because I know this was like my first, my first episode of this series, so let me know if there's something I can change to make it a bit more easy to follow. I know the middle bit of the ammonite was a bit fiddly, and I found it really fiddly actually to tie that knot, because this is the first time I've done this. Um, so if you need another video with it a bit more clear, let me know and I can, I can happily make that, but I love it. I think it's turned out really good. Look at that. <laughs> Um, but yes, yeah, so I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll put all my social media down in the description box along with a list of all the items you need to create this yourself. So if you missed it at the start, I'll put it in the box below so it's just a bit clearer. But um, no, I hope you guys follow along and make your own Ammonite t-shirts because I feel like everyone should have one. I actually love it. No, I love it. <laughs> it's growing on me. I think it looks quite good because it's just so like normal from the front and then bam in the back. <laughs> so it's great. No, I'll wear it when I go fossil hunting and stuff like that because this is just like, it's just a plain top and I've just jazzed it up a bit. So, um, no, that looks sick. <laughs> I love it. I really do love it. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I do hope you enjoyed.